Welcome to race two of the NASCAR 15 plate race series. Before we roll off for race number two at the Daytona night, we are going to take a look at the point standings, which of course are only scored by the top 10 finishers in each race. So therefore, Ty Dillon leads the points with 10 points scored. Can he back up that performance today at Daytona? Let's get to the plate racing and find out. But first, I do want to point out that I am running the classic Rainbow Warrior scheme. You can vote on the paint scheme that I will use down in the comments uh, for my racing in this series. Because that's always fun, isn't it? So, plate racing at Daytona. We're starting from the back as usual. How far can we make it up and can we score some more points to unseat Ty Dillon? So here we are starting at the back of the pack as usual in the Rainbow Warrior paint scheme for tonight's race. Ready okay, to go. To the green. Be on your toes, buddy. Here we go. Waiting. Nobody's We're underway. So now it says my car is damaged it. already. Not sure how that's possible, but uh, regardless. We're underway. We're going to have to deal with that then. That's an interesting glitch that I haven't seen before. Okie dokie. Well, we're going to just try to maintain the draft here and not lose it. We get up into fourth gear, staying very close to Michael and that here. In fact, we're going to get in behind him because I feel like he's going to give us a nice run down the back straightaway because they will slow up, I think, a little bit going into turn three. They usually do. Nice drafting. As we give uh, Mike Lynette the threat, a big shot. I think he's second in the points right now in terms of the plate race series. But now we start to lose ground a little bit, so we're going to have to get in behind Mike Lynette. Come on. Oh, well, the top lane's going to really go slow. So that's going to help us out a bit as the AI kind of panic in there. As we make Mike Lynette very upset there, <laughs> getting in behind him. So now let's try to get into the pack here and settle in. Leading three it seems like the back of the pack kind of fell off a little bit as they got kind of spooked there for whatever reason. I'm going to try to keep Michael McDowell right, behind us to give us some cushion if something happens that we end up losing the, tra the draft. And it seems like the draft is already starting to be lost by all these guys here in the back. He's looking the draft behind you. So Stay that's smooth. interesting. This can help you both. We're going to have to start working up through the field. Uh, tandem style, of course, again, tandeming is a thing that happens in this game that you can do, but at 203 miles an hour, we are catching Michael Annette quite fast, and I actually had to lift off there because there was pretty much nowhere to go, and now Annette's working down to the inside of Michael uh, Waltrip on the bottom. and Cole Whip, just to give him a little Three bit of a zero. shot there, try to get him moving here, because we're still over 200 miles an hour. We haven't dropped below that okay, yet. Nice Running this fast, nice you'd think we'd be able to catch the back of the pack fairly quickly. We gotta go to work now. We gotta go to work. Because now we're gonna give Mike Lynette a shot down the back straight away, under 197, On as we now come back through the speed and up to 203 miles an hour on the entry to turn three. Rear. Try go not to wreck you. Annette the threat. We want to get him up into the field. J.J. Ailey's actually set the fast slap of the race, despite the fact that he is right falling through the you. field, and we've wrecked. Caution is out. We poly rocket. I think we pretty much got away with that, but somehow Annette did not like being underneath Yaley. I think the comments are going to be upset with me, as they usually are. They're going to go, you drive with stupid. Well, sorry, I can't help that Michael uh, uh, McDowell or Michael Annette doesn't know how to drive straight. It's not my fault. Awesome job, All right, guys. pretty Great much teamwork. a full hard reset like on this we race as we here. start in the Just back care, again. So let's see if we'll we can get a better restart this time Going as I hear green, my buddy. favorite line Going for the, the first green. time in quite a long time, actually. Good old, you'll start at the tail of the field, and we go underneath quite a few cars because there's no rule against that in this game. Well, top, but that's why back. there is a rule against it, because Jimmy Johnson yellow just flag, flat took me out. Okie dokie. So, well, I wrecked myself there. Fair play to Jimmy. I wrecked myself there. Okay, let's try that again. Let's actually try to have some plate racing in this plate race uh, video, shall we? Uh, okay, so we got quite a bit of cars behind us, so I don't think we'll end up falling out of the pack at any point. Which is probably a good thing. Unless this top lane doesn't go, it's certainly a possibility, as you saw Jimmy Johnson was all out of shape there on the restart. So we rev the absolute crud out of the car trying to get it up to speed in behind Stenhouse 
In fact, I think we're pushing him. It's hard to tell in the third person view whether you're pushing somebody or not. So we're actually moving up through the field quite nicely down here on the bottom. That's right generally where you want to be in pretty much every plate racing game. Except for NASCAR Heat Evolution, because NASCAR Heat Evolution didn't know how to plate race. Our three now back. the top lane there going pretty slow, so we're going to use them to get some cheap draft here. Awesome draft, buddy. Great Working control. underneath. Ryan Blaney really wanted to go down there, but we were already there. Jimmy Johnson follows us in. Leaders There's a couple ahead. cars in the old sucker hole in the middle there as the pack is really starting to form up. We've got some cars on a lot of different strategies Still here, different tires, and you. fuel and whatnot all through the field. And damage levels, I would imagine, as there's been a few cars that have been involved in crashes, not the least of which myself. Oh boy, well, we, there we go again. Looking low. Yellow, but yellow. I saved? No, I didn't. I was going to say I saved it, but, uh, nope. Well, let's see how this happened. Well, Stenhouse got loose, and then I crashed in the Stenhouse, and then Jimmy dailed there, and then I got dailed by uh, Chase Elliott. Nice. Hey, hey, guess whose car do, wasn't buddy? damaged? Mine was, kind of. You know, it's kind of like completely torn up at the front, but whatever. Here we go, buddy. So Coming we're going to go great. back to racing here in the 25th starting position. Excuse me, 27. You. Never mind. You're so we you. don't go low at the tri-oval because they're going to cut down, which they did. And now we're back to racing. In behind Kyle Larson here. The driver in first. Two which lane is going to move? I think it's going to be the bottom lane. I think we're going to need to... Just work with Larson here until it kind of clears out as they get, decide to go three wide in turn you. number one immediately. Stay Edwards down. in the old second on, hole as well now. as a net to to threat. Just got to keep it together Do this time. Right there. All right, here we go. Let's see if we can actually get some uh, plate racing going this time. Some clean plate racing as we shove Larson three wide underneath. Casey Kane, or Casey Kane, whether or not top. you want to pronounce it like we're going to lose or not. By the way, that's why I pronounce it that way, because of one of the trollers. Actually, no, that was Michael Sheffnor. <laughs> Never mind. All right, here we go. Making a move in behind uh, David Gillen nice here, and we're starting to move up again. Doing. Gave Gillen a shot, so clearly the They're guys do not like the bump drafting like they do at Talladega as we move down in front of Casey Kane, just keep him behind us. As uh, we've got a lot of slow cars here in the top lane. You're good low. And we're really starting to make some moves now in the bottom lane, moving Hard very, very fast. You. Moving so fast, in fact, that David Gillen has decide, decided to make an even lower lane, even though he's just going to decide to move up the track. So we're going to get in behind Kyle Larson here, moving off into turn three in the pack again, forming up three wide at the front of the field. That's Ty Dillon shoving. Uh, Martin Truex into the middle there. Working to the outside is Brad That's Keselowski four right wide. There, that is not going to work. And Fleo is wise enough not to stick it underneath Kyle basket. Larson. And now we've got everybody three wide. Everybody three wide. Well, now we've kind of... On your bumper. Their sanity has prevailed a little bit. We got this, buddy. As Logano tried to kill me there, somehow... Everybody makes it through. He took a swipe and a half at me. Larson's working down to the bottom. He doesn't have any help yet. We're going to come down and try to help him. There we go. Give him a All shot right off back. into turn three. Didn't quite work. We're in the top ten right now. That's where okay, we need to be to, to score points. Our for this race. We've still got 20 laps remaining nice in this job, one. Dude. So, long Very way nice. to go. As we're going to work down to the inside, make it three wide. Car tucked in behind you. Go underneath uh, Blaney and Keselowski, who's all by himself out there. And now we're starting to go to the front with help from Joey Logano. Right Make it three man. wide. They're trying to underneath Regan Smith and uh, Bobby Labonte. We just backed out of it just a little bit there. Josh Wise leads the race because time. this is NASCAR 15 and logic does not apply to plate races. As we get in behind or slam Regan Clear Smith. Right. And we'll give the Doji Doge a little bit of, little bit of love here. Down into turn three. Hey, Back we'll take the side. lead. Why not? Looks like he's going to tuck in and draft behind See if you. we can lead this thing. See how long we can lead it anyway. As here comes Regan Smith trying. Working to the outside. We'll block him. We'll be the Pied Piper of Daytona here. We should be in a Dale number 88 car. Dale number 8 car. Except for Teresa Earnhardt with Suez. 
All right, here we go. Got to block right now three you. lanes of traffic as we continue right, to try to just you. keep Kurt Busch behind us. There's a lot of cars that have lost the draft looking at the uh, scoring right there or the, uh, the map. And it looks like everybody's kind of thinned out. The pack is uh, trying to form a line. Even though Kurt Busch just decided to okay, pull out a game. line by himself, that was a mistake because now uh, Kevin Harvick's going to go around him anyway. And we're just going to park the car in the middle of the track. Ah, right oh, dang it. I tried to slice down. I realized I kind of Do bailed out of it. And that was a mistake because that allowed Kurt Busch down to the Stay inside. We're going to make a little bit of contact. Uh, not sure who came up on who or who came down on who there. It was a close one. And still battling with Kurt Busch down here. As we're three wide, the three chicken tenders car, along with the Smithfield car, all the memes are together. Car tucked in behind you. As there He's is Al Marola going for the lead. We are bumper. trapped on the outside. This is not where I want to be particularly. And here we go. Oh, wow. What the heck was that all, all right about, you. Kurt Busch? Stay high. And now we've got Smithfield power you. drafting down into turn three. Somehow we got a draft off Al Marola that was good enough to slingshot us around the outside. We're still working this top lane. I don't know how it's working. Clearly, Kevin Harvick is a good, good partner here. And we're actually going to take the lead on the outside in NASCAR 15. How is this possible? Okay, so to the outside we go. Kevin Harvick just absolutely giving us the, the push of a lifetime as they're just going to block him now. And I don't really want to leave Kevin Harvick at this point. He's he's clearly one of the superior cars in the race. I don't even You're care that Almirola is going to take the lead because even though Almirola got the lead on the bottom, Harvick managed to get us the lead on the top. So um, make of that what you will. Again, three wide is Bush. Tries to bully Al Marola out of the lead as we go three wide down the back straightaway. And we're going to keep working the top lane here as Bush will go to the lead with help from Paul Menard. And that's a tandem there. That's actually going to get the lead for Kurt Busch. Danica Patrick up in here. Danica Patrick, of course, has scored points already in this series. So she's in can, uh, championship contention as we're going to work to the outside of Kurt Busch because he dropped off of Paul Menard for whatever reason. And into the lead we go momentarily with Clear down low. Paul Menard down to the inside and taking the lead with help from Danica Patrick. So Paul Clear Menard goes side. in the lead. He takes it over. And we're going to sneak in the middle, give right, Danica a little you. bit of a bullying there. And that's probably... Well, let's see if that's a good idea or not. We pretty much just gave Paul Menard the Harvick advantage, but all these Stuart Haas Chevys as well, just really going well at the moment as they are three deep all the way through the field. Now Danica kind of gets out by herself here. You. And David Reagan, now we got some pit stops as well. Green flag pit stops taking place. We are just blocking the absolute crap out of Danica there. Just trying to keep her behind us as we got David Reagan moving down to the inside. He's a plate race master. He knows how to get to the front in these races. Here comes the three right chicken tenders car in Watch behind. We still got quite a bit of laps we can make on our fuel, so not Stay a big bottom. deal at the moment. We don't have to worry about getting into the pits. And when we do, it'll be a fuel only stop. Tires, on not a concern here at Daytona, especially in the night. In nice cool conditions you. as Carl Edwards making some move to the outside. I was not good enough in keeping him behind me. We got some Gibbs. They're cheating. The Toyotas are cheating. They're coming to the front, so therefore they're cheating. As uh, we've got Larson making a move to the outside. David Reagan trying. Denny Hamlin down there. Again, it's so many people working to the front of the field. Now more cars coming out All of the right pit, so that's going to make things interesting. Are in line with and you. We're going to continue to just keep David Reagan at bay. As he's getting some you. Almirola help there with the Smith field. Dale Jr. running dead last which is hilarious. Right you. Press F to pay respects to Dale. But uh, Kyle Busch comes out of the pits, makes it four wide temporarily. Doesn't LePage anybody, so Looking that's high. good. As Greg Biffle comes up behind us. Up and uh, Eric Almirola Looking as well. Outside. So how many... Oh, are they four wide? They are four side. wide. That was four wide You're for a second low. there as Denny Hamlin was trying to make it four wide down into the corner. Somehow managed to Far save it. High. Somehow You're managed to save it. Today, and that is going to give the lead Check to Greg Biffle with help from Danica and easy on the fuel. Reagan Let's and Lagana, or uh, excuse or me, Larson. But Biffle all by himself and does not have any momentum. So we'll sneak underneath him oh, down the main stretch. And Reagan will take the lead from Danica. We're still That's good on fuel. About. We'll give Reagan a shot down the back straightaway. 
And now we'll go with the Smithfield. Three wide. Oh, and, and friggin' Al Marola dumped me, but it doesn't matter because he gave us enough of a shot down the back straightaway to pull out into the lead once again. Past Danica, and we've still got probably a lap that we can make it on fuel. So we'll go around one more time. Don't need to worry about it just yet as Keselowski moves down to the inside, and Keselowski comes into the pits. So Danica, us, Al Marola. As cars begin to peel out of the pits, we could probably make it an extra lap if we wanted to, but regardless, okay, I think we'll be able to make it to the end anyway. So it's all fast. good right from a there, fuel buddy. perspective. Car front's heading to the pit. So we go by Kurt Busch, one of the contenders in this race. Oh, a little bit of Keep contact with Danica. Does that give Al Marola advantage? Yes, it does. But he's all by himself on the inside, and we're going to have to get to the inside here, so I don't know if Danica takes the lead. And we'll get the lead back because I think everybody's I peeling off into the pits. Gas, so we've got to try to not get run over here, getting into the pits. Okay, buddy, we're standing we by. really break hard there. Everybody else coming in, but it doesn't really matter. I think we'll have a faster stop than them. Fuel only on this stop. Fuel only. Waiting on the fueler to get it all done. Waiting, waiting, waiting. There we go. Nice out of the job, pits. Boys. Great pit stop. We're doing great, buddy. That pit stop's gonna make all the difference. Getting out just ahead of Jimmy Johnson. Trevor Bain is the leader, but uh, at the moment that doesn't really matter because uh, I believe he has just peeled off into the pit. So we are leading by a fairly handy margin, I believe, at the moment. We'll see. It says Almirola is in second, so Jimmy must be a lap down. Not sure how that's possible, but. There you go, but the problem is we're all by ourselves. So if they do form the pack up, we're gonna have some trouble. And actually, I just realized I may have screwed myself not taking tires, not because we need tires, but because when that pack forms up, they're gonna be much faster than I am by myself, as Kenseth is in the pits and should be coming out very shortly. Ah, uh, this is gonna be interesting. You got this, nice work, We've got a man. car coming out of the pits there, several cars coming out of the pits. And that is Michael Annette coming out of the pits. And we are come putting a lap on him as he is in 42nd position. So way behind the race is Michael Annette the threat. One of the points contenders at the moment. As we work our way down the back straightaway. And all by ourselves. But this time, at least we're all by ourselves in the lead. Rather than in, all by ourselves in 39th like we were in the uh, NASCAR Heat to uh, career mode for the Xfinity series. And some people were talking that, oh, I can't uh, get a five-star team, uh, or I can't get a uh, contract without a five-star team uh, for the Cup Time Series. I'm not sure that's true. You're doing great. Nice and steady. I'm not sure. I don't know if they back. patched it or something, but I'm pretty sure that's not true. If it was true at one point, it's not anymore. But anyway, we are working through turns number one and two. Edwards is now second from Bain and Larson. So those are the contenders at the front of the field, but you know we haven't caught, or they haven't caught us yet. They are just coming through turn two, but they are formed up in a nice pack, so they will catch us eventually. It depends if they'll catch us before the end of the race. I think we won't have to pit again. So assuming there's not a yellow, uh, I mean, it's gonna be a battle between Bane and us. And it'll be a, con a eight to go. question of whether Bain can catch us in eight laps as we've got a car coming out of the pits, but he won't be coming out close enough for us to draft with him as it is Michael McDowell running in 39th, so not even a last place car. Several cars lapsed down already, which is interesting to, to note. As we work our way down the back straightaway, it's down to six seconds, so they're gaining about a second a lap, meaning, you know, if you think about it in real math terms, that means they will catch us before the end of the race. So it will be a battle. We had a similar plate race. I had a similar plate race like this at one point. I think it was at Talladega. I had the lead. They were chasing me down. Eventually, the race Seven went to, to Josh yeah, Wise, of all people. So there you go. Right now, Brian Vickers has gone into the lead from Paul Menard. Trevor Bain has fallen all the way back to fourth. So, uh, clearly, Vickers and Menard are in a tandem. 
and they have gone to the point as it goes down to five seconds. The lead is shrinking by the second. Literally, because it's the second a lap is what the gap is shrinking by. So that is that is not a good thing necessarily. It's interesting to look at the, the fastest laps. We set our fastest lap on lap 11. I think that was one of the restarts. And you can see back there if you if uh, the resolution is good enough. There's a big group of three wide action coming. A big group. Probably 15 cars all together. And you just heard five laps remaining in this one. So Ryan uh, David Reagan to the front with Ryan Newman in tow. Four seconds is the gap and closing fast. Again, they're at probably around 195 to 200 miles an hour. I'm at 190. 191 on entry to turn three, but you know, one mile an hour difference is not a big deal as we got cars coming out of the pits again. So it's possible we can hook up with one of these cars exiting the pits, but it seems like they may be too far back and that pack is again, catching. Catching slowly but surely. Five to go. Now okay, it's buddy. five laps to go, yet. and this, the gap is two and a half seconds, so they are absolutely going to catch us as we go around Ty Dillon, the points leader. He ain't going to be the points leader after this, I would imagine. But uh, I don't know if we'll score points. Paul Menard leading that pack, uh, bearing down on us. Looks like the pack has split up a little bit. It looks like it's split into two factions there. But uh, as they come up on us, here we go. It's the battle. Looks like Jimmy Johnson is actually one of the leaders of the lines there. We know he's a lap down. And the other question, of course, is going to be fuel mileage, whether or not either any of these guys are going to have to come into the pits. But regardless, it is going to be a fight now for the lead as we've got four laps remaining and that angry horde bearing down on us. So... Half a second is now the gap. They are well within drafting range. We're going to have to pick a lane to block. Otherwise, we're in trouble. So here comes Almirola up behind us. It looks like Almirola's lane is the one that's moving. Back, we'll block high. him. There we Far go. So high. we had hey, to pick on, one. Buddy, we'll go with Almirola. So Johnson, obviously, a lap car. We don't have to worry about him. He can. Like today, the problem is he's up in this Stay mix, focused. and he's fast. Nice right there, buddy. So now Stay three wide in. through the pack. Lance off it. So we'll push Johnson to the lead. It doesn't matter. Oh! And Johnson almost lost it. Of course, we had a Stay crash down. with him earlier in this race, so we got to be go. careful. Well, we it says the lead yield position. Don't know where I gained. Line, Don't know where I gained one. We'll just Coming cut off side. and let that whole lane by us. Finally got dinged for going under the yellow line. We're still trying to flirt with that yellow line. Reagan is into the lead because he's tandeming with Johnson, the lap right car. Around. That's a bit annoying. So the lap right car is factoring you. into this race as we've got Hard two laps to go. You. Danica moves outside. to the outside Stay on the bottom. with help from Clint Boyer. Into turn three we go. Johnson can help us though. Right side, and he's clear. right now helping David Reagan. Oh, as Johnson moves down, he's trying to get his lap back. Not really sure why, but we're going to give him a shot there, Here try to get him around. Charging. We got him around, but the problem is that I was hoping to keep him ahead of me to break right the air, side. but that is not going to be the case. Is oh, Brian Vickers is in there, and I'm starting to choke a little bit, so we got to be careful. We don't want to choke. Annette's up here. Right, is Annette a lap car? Yes, he is. So I thought Michael Annette had just Still pulled off the comeback of the century, but no. Still with you. So Michael Annette is not a factor. He's not a, I shouldn't say he's not a factor. He's not a threat to the lead of the race. Vickers is though. Vickers is looking. David Reagan back there. We know David Reagan's fast. He's been fast all day. Paul Menard up here as we get the whites. There's a lap car. There's one coming out of the pits. We're coming up behind one. There's another one coming out of the pits up here. And that may actually be a factor. As we're holding on to the lead at the moment. Oh, we're getting a bit of a gap. Here comes Vickers in behind. The lap car coming out of the pits. Ryan Newman. Oh, there we go. Used him as a pick going down the back straightaway. Oh, Almirola is sneaking up in there. Trevor Bain trying to go for the win. Bain knows how to win Daytona. As Almirola sneaking up in behind. We're going to have to use that lap car on the outside as a pick. 
I think we'll be able to pick Vickers, so this is the battle between us and Almirola. Battle between us and Almirola. It doesn't Party matter if Vickers, oh, this is like the you end of the leader, US 500 in the 2000, leader. but it's not going to happen. We're going to yeah, get the baby, win. Woo! Same that was close. Driver, just another day in victory lane. Awesome job, little buddy. Now, I said that really quick at the end, but the, the, the finish I was referencing was the 2000 Michigan 500 when Michael Andretti and, and uh, 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 Juan Pablo Montoya were side-by-side -side going to the line. A lap car was used by Montoya to draft by Michael coming to the line, so that's what I was talking about. I thought Vickers was going to get me there, but he didn't. Almirola didn't even manage to lead a single lap despite running up front the entire race. And Danica brings home another ninth place, so she gains two championship points. Uh, so here's the list of the, um, actually we'll show you the rest of the field first and then I'll end with point standings of uh, what we have so far. So where, where is your favorite driver? Let me know down in the comments. And who missed the race? There's always a guy who misses the race. Uh, let me know who it was down in the comments because of course they uh, had no opportunity to score points. So here are the point standings after two races and uh, that's of course the top 10 the guys who are and gal who are going to be in contention as we will head back to Talladega for race number three of the plate race series uh, thank you guys so much for watching this this has been David Land on YouTube if you enjoy this plate racing series hit the like button and let me know down in the comments so moving on to Talladega we got one win we got one pretty bad race it's all good we'll see you at Talladega